And all right. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Now go home and get your shine box. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Go Get Your Shine Box Podcast. Yeah, this is Jim, one of your hosts, and I'm with Joe and Paul. Say hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi guys. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Okay, so not only did you say it at the same time, you said you were... You, you, were, you know when people say literally? <laughs> yes, li- literally. <laughs> that was, you literally said, uh, yeah... Hey guys, but uh, good. Oh, good to have you tonight. Yeah, um, yeah it's good to be here. Um, you know, like good to be here while we're while we're still free. <laughs> Where? What else would I be doing? Like taking a freaking nap or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you could be taking a nap. Like Keith Richards used to say, uh, it's, uh, "It's good to be here tonight, but uh, it's good to be anywhere." <laughs> so, but uh, we a uh, little housekeeping and. Um, notes uh we were a little when i say we it was joe's fault now we, we last week you. last week the sound was a little off so i'm playing the bumper music now and it's i'm looking at my meter and it's pretty low how's it sound to you guys loud it, it, it's still there is it supposed to still be there yeah it's okay. supposed to still be there so hey this is behind the scenes stuff man but it's production stuff but yes yeah, so we were a little loud and i made some adjustments I don't know why. I think uh, I think the system might have gotten an update, and all of a sudden everything's blaring. Um, but right now, I'm, I, I switched to a dynamic mic, the the cheap version of the golden mic. Uh, so, um, not uh, not like the golden ticket that I see uh, DeSant- DeSantis is uh, uh, crowing about. <laughs> yeah, wow! Yeah. Somebody somebody's gonna be the big winner. Well, you're gonna, gonna get to come with me to freaking Iowa. <laughs> Yeah. Um, okay. That's um. Yeah. I, I'd rather be the 1.5 billion dollar lottery winner, but yeah. Okay. Is that what is that what it's up to? Uh, he won last week. Some single oh. person from Florida, and then of course with our uh, illustrious IRS and tax system, he took the cash, which was less than seven hundred fifty thousand dollars, somewhere around something like that. So, yeah. Well, I could. I, uh, how much? I could do a lot with seven hundred fifty million. Seven hundred fifty million. Seven hundred fifty yeah. million. Yeah, million. Yeah, that's what. Yes, yeah, that's what, what he said. said. He so, said thousand. Don't be kidding all you did not say thousand. Come on, we. He wouldn't say thousand. He wouldn't do that. Seventy-five thousand million. <laughs> <laughs> A billion dollars. Uh, and uh, um. Another thing, a quick announcement. Uh, I don't know if we're, I was going to try it. We're going to try it, whatever. I put out some, uh, uh, um, it's an advertisement for some shorts. And I know it was a play on words. It's kind of silly, but uh, Shinebox shorts. And they're anywhere from six to 10, maybe 15 minutes, more more high end, um, no commentary, kind of AI voice. Uh, learning modules, if you will. So they're out there. I don't know how well they're going to do, but if you guys are listening and you start seeing those pop up in your feeds or on the, the YouTubes, uh, give it a shot. Let, let me know what you think. Yeah, particularly particularly the version that I worked on, which was shine box stains in your shorts. Uh, I, I'm kind of proud of that one myself. You know. You're a sick son of a bitch. You know that? <laughs> Okay, let's move on. Like shit stains? Is that what you're saying? Uh, Hey, you know, whatever kind of stains you're thinking of at the moment. Okay, well, well, let's get into this because I'm, if you you can't tell, I'm in a foul mood. Well, very foul mood. Anyway, we we had we don't have any dark news tonight. We're going to put that off, but we do have a a, a birthday announcement that we'd like to. Hey, but, no yeah. wonder he's in a foul mood. Joe Joe is uh, is having a birthday coming up this week, and he is he's turning uh, seventy eight. He's, he's really old. He will yeah. be seventy eight, and um, in uh, uh, a couple of days. Yeah, bite me. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a sad thing. It's a sad. It's a, it's thing. a sad thing when we but, get old. Yeah. Uh, well, I just I was uh, I'm looking over at this indictment, and what I'm reading here um, is the blueprint. Well, this is the blueprint for for the starting of a revolution. For the starting of a revolution. That's what this is. 
Well, one could say that. One could say that. Uh, you could also say it's a blueprint for a genocide, you know. Well, let's, um, let's start by saying uh, welcome to tonight's topic. Trump oh, yeah. indictment number four out of Georgia. By the illustrious Fanny, what the frigger name is. I don't know, but she's I know she's an asterisk lawyer that she got in on an affirmative action ticket. And the only bar she passed hey. was the one on fourth and freaking Monroe. Hey, 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 hey. So anyway, go ahead, she's Joe. She's a smart woman. Yeah. Uh, I hear asterisk. she's got a, a, an IQ of 78. Cork which... baseball bat. <laughs> That's you all think, I'm saying. You, you're being very kind when you say her IQ is 78. I mean, I, I'm reading this indictment and it's, it's like... It, it, this reminds me of something that like it, you remember back in like in middle school and sixth grade when you ran for like you know uh they had the, you could run for office in sixth grade class president and stuff <laughs> yeah. this is, this is what, yeah this is what this reminds me of like sixth grade politics yeah um this is ridiculous hey uh, you know i'm i'm just gonna stick up for her and say there are retarded white people too you know, <laughs> I wouldn't piss on the best part of that woman. OK, uh, you is, know, what? she gives it, it's pretty tough to give lawyers a bad name, but she she took this one home. Yeah. Lawyer. She, lawyer. Who took the bar for her? She, she, she didn't a, take it. She could have been a doctor. She could have been an astronaut, but she chose to be a lawyer. <laughs> you could have been you a contender. Be, <laughs> you, you should be grateful. <laughs> There's no way that this could even make it to court. I mean, the judge would have to look at this and be like, what in the April? Was this April? April? Am I the only one around here just a shit about the rules? Man, oh, man. Not only that, but the, the copy of the uh, indictment was, um, was released. <laughs> it was released by the clerk. Yeah. Oh. yeah and, how could, how could and that then, be? And now, then, now and then the, Fanny... Now. Then Fanny said, I don't know nothing about I don't know nothing about no clerical. I don't know how that happened. We no. we here to fight the man. And and uh, and then they and then they was released and they didn't even have the freaking grand jury decision. They had to freaking run around like Keystone cops and get the grand jury in there to say, Oh, yeah, by the way, um uh, this is from the top to the bottom, this war, I, I, Fanny, I, I don't remember her last name. It's a shame because I have it written down. So what I want to say, Fanny, Fanny ran on the fact that she going to get Trump. I'm going to get Trump. We going to get Trump. Get... And she should have been recused and uh -huh. probably removed. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh -huh. so, yeah, I saw a picture of the, the clerk. Some of this stuff is accidentally released. Oh. Now, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not vouching for her IQ at all. Yeah. You, you ever. Yeah. You ever see these people whose eyes are too damn far apart, <laughs> or too close? Yeah. No. No. The too far apart is like is like it's some kind of weird shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Did her ears stick straight out? It's almost like one's on the other side of it. Like a, like you're looking at a flounder. Oh, my yeah. God. but yeah, yeah. I, like, I like this. I like this. Um, and they make <laughs> it, wait, wait, Im impersonating a public officer. They make funny noises when they get together. to commit oh, impersonating him. a public officer. This stuff is yeah. crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, right. forgery, wait, forgery in the easy, first, Joe, de first degree. You're screaming in your mic. Close, slow down. Uh, they, hey, they, you know. Then you got conspiracy to commit forgery in the first degree. What the hell? Are you kidding me? Oh, it, it, this I, I read this thing. I'm like, it, you know when you, you know when you, you know, <laughs> I can't even. It's like well, they let just, me try, uh, wait, let me wait. let me try to try to put it this to, to words. This 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 is the feeling that Fanny got when this paperwork was done. By the way, this was two and a half years ago when this she could have she could have done this. This was all um, from from the time frame of about two and a half years ago. But so, so so it's suspect on its face that they waited until right in the middle of a freaking campaign. But anyway, you, you, your your um, your your kid comes home from school, first, second grade, whatever, got new new words, a bunch of new words. And they start reading a little bit and they, they're told they have to put sentences together. You know, this is your homework, sweetheart. You know, you got there's 10 sentences you have to finish. And and Fanny, you know, she put 
the, 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 the pronouns and she put a verb and she put an out and she ended up with 10 complete sentences and she was just waving her hands all over the place and got her special ice cream cone because she, you know, and a gold star because she did her home. That's the same as us. That's the same as us. She was, I guarantee she was elated with herself. That she, she actually said, yeah, so, solicitation of a violation of oath by a public officer. I, I read that. I remember reading that. And, and you know, and through it. This is a freaking word salad um, that, that probably won't even stand on its face in Georgia because the fact of the matter is Jack Smith and her, they have emails. They're corresponding. He, the, the state doesn't supersede a, uh, a federal prosecutor indictment. So this is going to wind up going to federal court. It's going to be out of her hands anyway. I'm not sure if that's if, if they knew that already or they didn't. Uh, I'm not a lawyer, but th- th- that comes from uh, from from a lawyer. So yeah, yeah well, well, they're, they're they... trying to to get the uh, get the venue changed. And uh, the uh, Letitia James in New York. I, I think we have a a clip, right, Jim, of the they they met. Uh, they had oh, a, I a, didn't on, grab that one. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, online. Yeah, oh, shoot. No, you're not. <laughs> you don't have that one. Uh, okay. No, I don't have that one. Yeah, no, well, we, sound, we sound like the big show. Um, I'm sorry. We had. Could you yeah, go to you clip? I want to clip three. I got clip one and two, not three. Shoot. My uh, mistake. But I do they, have the Hillary clip. <laughs> well, I can't get, can't get a word in edgewise here. That's second. Best. Shut up for a second. <laughs> they. The whole idea of this, all of this shit that they're putting out here is they don't really care about the ultimate conviction. What they care about is the immediate conviction. They want to get, they, they just want to get this thing in court and get a conviction. And they know that it's going to be overturned because even a moron that's not an attorney can tell you that this is bullshit. But if they can get that immediate conviction, that's their win. That's what they need to have. And all of it, and all it is, is just for absolutely influencing this election, and and well, it's tampering. That's yeah, it. This is, that, a, this is it, a coup. It's yeah. it. most like I think that you you were mentioning it before. Most everything that they put on this list is actually you can directly correlate it to the Democrats and what they're doing. Yeah, it's a you perfect know, a, a perfect mirror. Yeah, uh, you know, Alinsky, right? You know, one hundred and one. Yeah, right. The, everything right. that they're doing accuse your opponent of doing and and by the way uh this is uh, predicates for the rico act which is the uh, racketeering influence criminal organization act uh that was originally actually it wasn't it wasn't designed to go after the mob but rudy giuliani back in the what was it, the 70s and when he was in new york he he dug up the rico act and used it to get the heads of the crime families in in, in the the mob and and people are clapping and cheering for for Rudy Giuliani on that. And I like Rudy. The fact of the matter is New York is a worse place without the five families. I'm just going to, I'm, I, it has nothing to do with tonight's topic, but when they took the, when the, when the United States went after the American Italian American mob in New York city, it, New York city became a shithole. You used to be able to walk down the streets in New York city safe. Right. Um, Cause so. you knew your, you knew your place. Well, let's yeah. be specific on who knew their place. Uh, on a, going back to Joe's point, I, I'll only disagree in one one point, and that is, yeah, they want to um, influence the election. They want to make sure Trump is not uh, not elected. They would dearly, dearly love if Trump went to prison for the oh, rest ab- of absolutely life. yeah you're you're yeah. right yeah. yeah you're right but Probably it's not won't. But yeah. it's not it's not the ultimate and they you know that's gonna that's a stretch because i don't even how are you well, gonna do that yeah we don't we don't know if that's a stretch i mean leaving aside that they the, should be uh the uh, secret service and all that whether whether it could legally happen or not and i'll put legally in air quotes uh, is another question, and yeah. uh, I, who knows? I have to say that um, most of this is going to the Supreme Court. This isn't, it, or, you know, or if not all of it, there aren't going to be any charges that aren't going to go to the Supreme Court because that's that's what level uh, nonsense this is. And and be, be perfectly honest with you, I hope this doesn't happen to another president. I don't care who who the who the president. I really don't. If it happened to to Biden, it should go to the Supreme Court. It should, this is, and, and I'm and I'm saying Correct. that I'm, I, I agree with you. I'm saying that based on the fact that I still have that that one 
that one little tiny sliver. And Paul, yes. you know what I'm talking about. That, that little yeah. one tiny little sliver that that there is that we still have justice. a country yeah yeah but we're they, civil we're a civilized society and we live by rules exactly you're right yeah so so by by all by all counts and i don't care about the the, the trolls out there the naysayers they they, they oh, well we got them now those, those pot seals mean nothing you know they have a zero they have a, a, a zero credibility they're expendable they'll put their brown shirts on they'll march and then pray to whatever God they pray to that nothing ever physical happens because God forbid, but I think we don't want to go down that path. We always do, but here's a couple stats here. This is a a fourth, the fourth indictment of the Don uh, for a total of 91 federal charges. So let that sink in. Now (laughs) they're not all federal, but well, I I, I, I don't technically. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, (laughs) you're right. They're probably not all federal, but in any case, 91. That's a lot of charges. Yeah. That's and a lot they, of charges. It's so many charges that I don't know of any non-politician that was indicted four times in as many months. It, yeah, and and part of the reason they do that is because uh, it's it's a a um, influence thing because people be like, oh, he had a charge of this against him. Yeah, that looks like politics. Ninety-one charges. Well, you know, if he had, you know. 10 or 20, some of them could be fake, but 91, there's got to be something real in there somewhere. Yeah, you know interesting I mean? though, Paul, because I'm going to play this clip now because Trump's take on that is a little bit different. He, he he believes that the more indictments, the actual, the more Americans will look at this and see it's actually what it is. And they call it a witch hunt. This isn't a witch hunt. This is a coup. Is this what is, this is. Yeah, yeah. So. this is, this is a, 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 a lynching or, or a non- lethal execution of your political opponent right, there you go yeah yeah so check it check him out i think this is pretty funny i hope it's not too loud but every time they file an indictment we go way up in the polls we need one more indictment to close out this election one more indictment and this election is closed out nobody has even a chance so his, his whole take on this is the more you bring on the more the American people are going to see this as a rouge. Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to be pedantic, but. Uh, no. Yes, yes, you do. Uh, uh, hey, I told you I was first grade spelling bee champion. You know, I'm not going to let this kind of shit slide. Uh, anyway. Spell liberal lux. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that, that's uh, here's my view on that. That's uh, true to a point, and certainly true for the uh, base. I don't think it's it holds as true in the general in the general election. Um, I'd like to be proven wrong. Uh, I hope I hope I'm proven wrong, and I hope that Trump is elected again next time. Um, but you know, it, well, you know, well, the, we could beat the dead horse of uh, that is now Biden and say nobody doesn't campaign. No sitting president does nothing. Not a not a fundraiser. Not a campaign. But takes t- uh, four weeks vacation in a six week time period. If he doesn't think that there's a guarantee, number one, wait, he's not going to be in the race, or number wait, two, he already won it. Listen yeah. to me. Hold on. Hold on one second. Right. Well, I got this in my head. Um, just a little trivia here, and it has to do with what you just said. Um, since uh, Ooh. the dickhead's been president, um, hey. how many? Oh, okay, Joe Biden. Since Joe <laughs> Biden's been president, how many weeks vacation has he had? Mm, Forty-six. I don't know, man. Forty. I thought it was, you said forty-six. I thought it was forty. Forty plus. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I took a wild yeah. guess just based on his absenteeism. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You took a guess at forty six, and I'm thinking to myself, did you already know the answer to this? It's yeah. No. He, said, he said forty weeks vacation. Yeah. 40, said, forty weeks. That's okay. He's got people who are running shit, you know. Yeah. Well, he does. Yeah. I mean, listen, it doesn't really matter whether he's there or not. Uh, it doesn't. Right. That's what. It, it, that's kind of the whole point. Forty weeks vacation, and when he's there, he doesn't do anything. How many times? Has he been on stage when he doesn't know how the hell to get off the stage? It's like um, every time he goes up there. Yeah, the man has time. got, I mean, yes, if there's clearly something wrong with his brain. Clearly. Yeah. It's, it's, um, it's and, in, and in his moments of clarity, he's a freaking criminal. He's a crook. He's a liar. Yeah. Uh, 
He's a um, he's a piece of garbage. Or, and, and by shit. the way, by the way, on the uh, on the Hawaiian arson, I, I mean the Hawaiian uh, fi- uh, fires, uh, no comment. Climate change, no, no, no comment. No, no. no. Here's your seven hundred. Here's seven hundred. How ignorant! Bucks. I mean, that is the most ignorant. When I heard that, I'm thinking, it doesn't matter if you're a Democrat, Republican, or whatever. You no comment on that. What? Do, yeah. How difficult it is to say? My heart goes out to these people. It was that hard? You know, you could be, you, he's, he's a good liar. He said no comment, not because it's because he didn't even understand what's going on. That's right. why he had no comment. He, His, did, he that, didn't understand the, the question. Right. Yeah. That That's the point. Yeah. He had no comment because he didn't know what they were even talking about. <laughs> right. Right. That make that makes it even worse. I suspect he thought um, they were going to ask about, uh, about Hunter. About Hunter. Right. Yeah. So. Yeah, oh, uh, and and he asked. He, that's his that's his comment. Uh, no comment. I never. Uh, well, I didn't. Well, I could have. Well, I didn't. You know, they have pictures of him sitting with the business partners. There's emails. There's the witnesses. Yeah, but yeah. anyway, that's not the topic of the night. But right. and and with that shitty and grin on his face when he says no comment, like, oh, oh it's I can't. I can't. I can't do it. Anyway, well, let's uh, <laughs> and, and, and let me just throw this in here. Yeah. I, I dislike Biden. I dislike Hillary. I dislike the Democrats. I dislike the media. I dislike a lot of the Republicans as far as, you know, having a country and we should, you know. How about Obama? You know, what, do you think about, what do you think of Obama? Yeah. I would like all of them to decorate the freaking wading pool, the reflecting pool uh, in front of the uh, Lincoln and Washington uh, monuments there. And throw a toaster in there? That, no, no. They should. There should be f- festive poles um, uh, put up around the w- the pool. Uh, and uh, so do I want to get the freaking mute button? <laughs> decorate. All right, all right, move on, move on, move on. Uh, I, you know, Paul was just telling me in the green room earlier that uh, if he could have dinner with one man living, it would be uh, Barack Hussein Obama. Yes, it would be a, 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 him and his family. It would be a nice. <laughs> I'll be sitting at the one end. What was that movie? Remember that movie? What the hell is that movie? Yes, I do remember Sicario. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one. <laughs> that, fantastic. Yeah, we 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 picked up on that pretty quick, Jim's uh, on our wavelength there. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, I'm gonna uh, just just a quick a quick list. Uh, some highlights here. The the people on this uh, a Fulton Superior Court, which is a, that's an oxymoron, that uh, that are uh, listed in this indictment. Of course, Trump, Giuliani. Uh-huh. Uh, John Eastman, Mark Meadows, anybody that was within a hundred yards of Trump when he when he made that beautiful phone call, Kenny uh, uh, Chibro, Jeff Clark, Jenna Ellis, R- Ray Smith the uh, Third, Bob Cheely, Michael Roman, David Schaefer. I don't know. A lot of these names are familiar. Uh, Sean uh, Still, Har- oh, what is it? Harrison William Prescott Floyd, and no relation to to uh, George or or Pink. Um, and Sidney Powell, Sidney Catherine Powell, I thought that was interesting. So this is uh, this is a stacked piece of garbage here. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Like I said, I'm I, I, I'm I'm hoping there's one scintilla of of uh, ethics and and shame amongst the the court system. Well, I, I know I, and Jenna doesn't have that, or Jen, I'm not Jenna. I'm Fanny. I'm not counting on her. Yeah, no. But she's and, a paid. She's and, paid for. And, and think of this, you know, up until Trump, it was unheard of, unheard of that we would go after somebody's attorneys uh, uh, raiding their homes. Uh, 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 oh, there, there's, getting, there's, there's statutes and, and uh, procedures in, con- in place right. for that. It's yeah. like a constitutional right yeah. to, to have a, a attorney pl- client mm-hmm. privilege. And yet... And we well, we should have seen this coming because they went after Trump's attorneys uh, raiding their homes. Yep, uh, taking and the all the shit Act didn't help. Yeah. Well, it's yeah, right. it's a, it's exactly it's an intimidation because what it, it's sending yes. a very very clear message. Don't you work it, for it, this guy? Don't you work for him? Because yeah. this is what will happen to you. Yeah. Um, it's exactly what he's being indicted for. Right. And this it's is like, this is banana republic bullshit. It's in it's yeah. it's. Uh, Stasi level NKVD intimidation tactics, 
And yep. uh, that's the that's the world we're in. Get used to it. Yeah, and here's a little here's a little addition to that. If that didn't if that was if that didn't make your blood boil, uh, Jack Smith, the the adult uh, that's in charge of, that is the special counsel that's bringing that 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 other indictment, got a hold of Trump's tweet, uh, deleted tweets, DMs, direct messages, yeah. and check this out: his tweet drafts. Yes. So this is minority report stuff now. Yeah. A, a draft is something that you you're mucking around with but you didn't send it for whatever reason. Right. Um, yeah. or or you did you you know you said uh, maybe maybe he said Jack Smith is a is a horse's ass and then deleted it cuz he's not yeah, I'm not going to like, Yeah, I was angry yeah. and you hit yeah. delete, you know. Yeah. And they got those. Yeah. So just, I'm just thinking about myself. Even anonymously, if I post something, some of the stuff is, you know, you just do. But some of it I even delete. Yeah. So now you're going to take my deletions and you're going to hold that to the same standard as if I said it out loud? Absolutely. I mean, this is, it, this. see, this is why I say if the Supreme Court, and I, I, love, I love saying the Supreme Court, um, they should put white wigs on. If, if the Supreme Court doesn't, really, they should, technically they should step in. They shouldn't even let this get this far. But if they don't, can, if it, can you, they do that? Yes, they can. They most certainly can. The, if this goes to them, which it should, they have to. They they have to to throw this entire thing out. They have to. Yeah. Um, like, because if they don't, we 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 don't have a country. Like they stepped you know? in uh, during the, the uh, election, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they they can they they can. I don't know uh, to to what degree. It, it's an interesting uh, theory uh, slash uh, practical uh, you know application because they're appointee, they're lifetime appointees. And by the way, you know they've been smearing uh, um, uh, Alito and and uh, Clarence oh, yeah. Thomas, especially Clarence Thomas yeah. and his wife. I, they want to indict Clarence Thomas's wife on this January sixth shit. Uh, I'm telling you what, they they went after Clarence Thomas because he bought a used um, bus. What, what do you call him, Joe? The pusher, or, a diesel pusher, or uh, uh, yeah, uh, motorhome. Yeah, yeah, you know. Uh, and they're saying he, you know, and and then he, you know, he was defending himself because it's called saving money. <laughs> you know, it was used. He went to a used car lot and bought it. But anyway, yeah, that's what we digress. Um, yeah, well, ironically, the, the point being that they're trying to pave the way either for impeachment or or packing the court, and they would have no qualms if they could pack the court and put you know six mm -hmm. communists on there, uh, you know, left wing well, activists it, or whatever they would. Yeah, do and let's heartbeat. let's let's call a spade a spade. It, putting Trump in jail, not putting Trump in jail. Uh, Indicting him a hundred times, not indicting him, charging him, not charging him, packing the court, not packing the court. That, that's all smoke and mirrors when, when you when you break it down. None, nobody really cares. These people don't care about this stuff. While this is happening, our country is being fundamentally changed. Yeah. And where did we hear that before? Fundamentally the, transform America. Somebody said that's, that. That's right. That's uh, Barack Hussein Obama said that. And he happens to be pretty close to the power switch right now. This is a fundamental transition that we're seeing in this country. So this, you know, we, we get all worked up about all the politics and all the minutia. That's all nonsense. All of it's nonsense. All So I hear these trolls say, you know, they want to bash Trump. And I, I, I tell them, I said, I'm going to give you some free advice. Nobody cares. Nobody, anybody that's in the know really doesn't care. There's nothing I can do about this. The only thing I can do is my daily and weekly ritual of pushing back. We we did a show on this, pushing back constantly against the crap that's happening. While all this stuff's going on, they're, they're, they came up with another another list of neo pronouns. Our kids are still being indoctrinated and groomed. Really? Uh, there's more. Oh, oh yeah. There's a whole list of stuff, and and like I said, the indictments are cool. It's the top notch thing to talk about, but it's not. What's really going on? Just like the fires in Hawaii. That was, <laughs> I heard some guy today he was filling in for uh, Brian uh, uh, Kilmeade. I forget his name, Joe from Orlando. 
but he was talking about, oh, I don't want to get into conspiracies. There's so many conspiracies. And this is a conservative guy. There's so many conspiracies out there. And, you know, most of those never come true or never come to pass. And I'm thinking, I shut him off because <laughs> he fell he fell for the, the, the CIA propaganda, you know? Uh, there's so much going on, it's not even funny. And we're, you know, 90% of the news media is is fixated on this. And if this goes to a trial and there's cameras in the, in the I don't think it will, and there's cameras, forget about it. It's like a Super Bowl every day. That's all you're going to hear. You know, with this, this incessant left drum beat. Lock them up, lock them up, lock them up. Yeah. But um, I'm kind of segue into to Hillary Clinton's piece because oh, she had a she was on um, the Richard um, Maddow show, yeah. and uh, before you go to the yeah before you go to the audio tape, you know they have a bunch of these young youngsters who are quote influencers. Uh, yeah, that's and, a cringe word, by the way. Yeah, there's a, there's a couple of them who are really gay, um, Harry and somebody Is else. He, They're like yeah. eighteen year old boys, you know. Yeah. And he he posted a, a clip from this that you're going to play. And he said he was gushing and he said, this was beautiful, this picture. And it should be it should be hung in the Louvre next to the Mona Lisa. That's how beautiful she looked. Mm. That's what this guy actually publicly t- tweeted out yeah. for everybody well, to see. And he's a, a, he's a male. Beta. Yeah. That's a special kind of uh, uh, a strange fella, uh, because yeah. I know who you're talking about. It's very, very strange and very abused. Uh, that's the kind of guy you're going to sit down with with the, with the uh, anatomically correct doll and say, say where, where did Daddy did... touch you? Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. So mm-hmm. anyway, check it out. Well, it's hard to believe. I, I don't feel any satisfaction. I feel great, uh, you know, just, just great profound sadness that uh, we have a former president who has been indicted uh, for so many uh, charges that went right to the heart of whether or not our democracy would survive. And we don't know yet what the charges coming out of Georgia are, but if you stop and think about what the public evidence is, and you've been talking about some of that for the last hour, uh, he set out to defraud the United States of America and uh, the citizens uh, of our nation. He used tactics of uh, harassment, intimidation. Uh, He made threats. He and his allies uh, went after state officials, local officials responsible for conducting elections. Now we know they even went into voting machines uh, in order to, uh, you know, determine whether or not those uh, voting machines had somehow been breached when they were the ones actually doing the breaching. So uh, there is a a great deal already in the public record. Uh, All right. All right. That's enough of her. She's a filthy animal. Yeah. 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 And and an actual crook. Yeah. Right. You know, as opposed to Trump. That's the funniest thing to me. Trump, and I say this with a little disappointment. Trump is a damn Boy Scout. He is a damn Boy Scout. Yeah. If he if he managed to go his entire career, imagine the, the people he dealt with as a New York uh, real estate developer. Right? right, right. These are not freaking good people. That you know the 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 uh, uh, concrete union and the waste. <laughs> disposal union uh yeah. you know uh, <coughs> off, off my italian buddies here these are not good people that you're dealing with yo whoa 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 easy now and, and for him to not for the you, you know they c- crawled up his ass the whole freaking government crawled up his ass. Be fucking not. <laughs> and they couldn't find anything he's got to be a freaking boy scout yeah. well uh, to be honest with you that's what pisses them everybody off because they all know that yeah they all know that they they got no dirt on them. They got to make this crap up. Yeah, no. yeah. Yeah. Well, this is uh, this is what you get when you legislate with spite, and this is what you get when you own uh, higher education and lower education. Well, this, how, is, this is what you how get when, big, you, when you serve how, Moloch. How yeah. big are Hillary's balls? <laughs> that she well. could. That I mean, her balls have to be as. I don't know, as big as watermelons. You got to ask Uma Thurman. For that I, I, I really didn't need that picture in my head, man. <laughs> I, I kind of like it now. That's a meme right there. 
I mean, because yeah, they got to be all mushy and soggy and oh man, she, I, come on! She's no, 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 no. She, she's she, about she's so corrupt and evil, and she gets up on her soapbox and she's talking about Trump. I'm like, hey, yeah, and, and you, hold your mirror up, and and, and can you uh, you know give me a little more magnanimity? Uh, all I feel is profound sadness. <laughs> I mean, come on. Yeah, was that before you uh, smashed your your blackberries with the and you know is is that yeah, before? I, yeah, okay. Yeah, you passed it washed and then oh and she's looking good because she's sucking the blood out of unborn children, you know. So yes, I well, mean, I think it, there's a there's a, a adrenochrome home delivery service now. Yeah, um, yeah, you know, it's sad. It really is, and that's what we're up against, though. You know, so yeah, I mean. Uh, I don't even know where to, where, you know, where to begin or where to end with this indictment stuff. But we think it's staying at four. But I've heard, I've heard there's another one. Um, well, it, it, yeah, here's so. here's where where we're going with this. You know, they've already come after just uh, rank and file Trump supporters. It's gonna, it's going to uh, pick up the. the the number of people we saw, they just looks like they executed that guy out in, uh, in Utah. Yeah. It, it's going to get worse. Uh, yeah. And, you know, we're going to have to have a talk about this 10 steps of genocide. Maybe we'll do an episode. Uh, yeah, well, for sure. Well, and, and what happens is these frivolous indictments, and I say frivolous, I'm being very kind. Frivolous indictments embolden uh, the the, uh, the militant left, if you will. Yeah, yeah. And, and when I say militant left, I, that does I, I'm not o- only talking about the blue-haired freaking pronoun freaks. I'm talking about leadership in the FBI, rank and file in the FBI, uh, rank and file and leadership in the CIA. Yep. Uh, we're talking people, about major hitters. People here. who actually have a license to kill you. Yeah, yes. And as they get emboldened, that, that's the, we're, we, this is going to continue to happen. Yeah. And their political so. leadership would have no qualms, no qualms killing tens, hundreds, millions of, of uh, average Americans if, if oh, they're yeah. political enemies. They would have no I'm problem. telling you what, you can't even prove to me right now that they didn't just kill 106 Hawaiians to get their property. Yeah, right. So um, Crazy that anyway, they yeah, have so, to think that way, right? Well, I, I hate to think that way, but I they know, make I it. Know, I know. You know so... Um, so keep in mind, everybody. Uh, this is uh, this is smoke and mirrors. Uh, keep an eye on the on the dailies, on the on the more mundane things out there that are ruining your life. Um, forget about the fact that it costs the average American in, in the month of July over seven hundred dollars more to live this year than it did two years ago. So um, that's what I'm talking about. That's the smoke and mirrors that you, you know, you're everybody's insurance, everybody's food, everybody's gas. And if you tell me your life's just dandy, it's the same as it was three years ago. Well, you're not only stupid, but you're a liar. You're a liar. Yeah. yeah. So. And uh, I agree. before we end, let me just throw in, uh, read your Bible. Yeah. Well, oh, if, if nobody ever read about the Bible and started reading it and then compared to what was going on today, they'd be astounded. They're like, well, when was this book written last week? <laughs> Who wrote this? P.J. O'Rourke? This is crazy. George Orwell? Yeah, right? All right, guys. Well, hey, don't forget to uh, like us if you uh, leave a comment. Look, you know, Subscribe to your favorite podcast site. We're on YouTube. We're on tweets and all that great stuff. So That's enjoy right. your weekend. And uh, look forward. I'm going to release another one of those shorts. If, if you enjoy that, uh, give us a, a little shout yeah. out to so. And we're uh, we're gonna take a, a sabbatical next week. Uh, we're gonna have to like push off unless we do something because I'm not gonna be around. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't know you were taking a vacation. I mean, now you're announcing it. We're announcing it live. Joe's announcing 74th it live. Seventy fourth uh, birthday is, uh, per- celebration week. <laughs> I thought it was seventy eight. Can't make up your mind. <laughs> Liar! Liar! Whatever. You're old, man. I am the walrus. I am the walrus. All right, I guys. Have walrus. a good night. Take it easy. Good night, good night, folks. Bye.